let's start at the front end, okay? So let's start with the blade sitting nice and comfortably at the surface. It's going to be stationary in the river. It's going to be torn in the tank. So we've got a situation here where the handle height here is going to be consistent. Every time I come forwards and place the blade, with assuming the boat is level, and we talked about stabilizing the boat elsewhere, then this handle height is going to be the same. It's going to be consistent. And as we've explained also elsewhere, the handle path is going to be flat. So I want to be taking a stroke which basically keeps the spoon at the surface, okay? If I was to actually look in the tank, I should be almost able to see the top of the spoon throughout the stroke. So what we're getting now is we're getting a nice placement there. We're taking a nice stroke. We're coming out clean and we're keeping the spoon buried during the entire stroke until we're ready to take it out. On the recovery, we're keeping a nice consistent height until we've arrived, then we're going into the water. So let's talk about feathering. Why do we feather? The first answer is normally given as air resistance. Well, the speed that we go in boats, that is not really going to be an issue. We are going very slowly, and unless there's a massive headwind, in which case you probably shouldn't be out on the water anyway, um, that's not going to be, have any impact. The reason why we feather is because in our early stages, as beginners and even as developers, we're pretty certain that from time to time, the boat is going to be slightly unsteady and the spoons are going to touch the water during the recovery while we're sliding forwards. It should be off the water, the boat should be perfectly balanced, life isn't like that. So if the, blade, if the spoon is going to touch the water, if it was still square, it would really judder. It would be very difficult to contend with. What we want is a, a spoon that can actually bounce or slide across the water even if the boat is oriented so that it can't get off the water. See what I mean? So if I take out my blade like this, and then the boat goes slightly down to this side, I want to be able to skim across the surface in the hope that it'll come level again so I can take the stroke. That's a really important aspect. Now having said that, I as a coach, and your coach can have his or her own opinion, I try and stop people, prevent people from fully feathering. I think it's dangerous because you can overdo it, catch the water, do something called catching a crab. The, o the, the only amount that you need to feather is about halfway. Okay, that's more than adequate to bounce off the water, to slide across the water. And it keeps control of the handle. At the handle end, achieving this part feathering is normally done by moving the wrists down like that. Now coaches may freak out because I'm actually using both hands and I, I, I don't apologize for that. I'll explain why I'm using both hands because I teach sculling and rowing to beginners and if they are using both hands then they can change sides and sweep without any trouble and they, that's what they do when they scull. They use both hands, okay? So I think, uh, I know that normally later on you should only use your inside hand, not your outside hand. But in the meantime, while you're learning, it's simpler, it's easier to just drop both wrists like that, just a little bit. And then when you flatten your wrists like that, you know you're going to be square. You remember the, the old sleeve thing? We get into a position where we've just done that, and then we get like that. You can feel it's on the side, the sleeve's doing its job, my wrists are nice and flat, I can place the blade. I know it's going to be square. So once I've set up my grip, when we start there, and my, my wrists are nice and flat, I know that when I drop them a little bit there, I'll be partially feathered, and when I flatten them, I'll be square. I don't have to think about it too much. But initially, I fully expect that the, um, the, 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 your coach will ask you to keep it simple and keep it square. And that's one of the main reasons why we're talking about trying to stabilize the boat by being a good crew member and making sure that a square blade isn't going to touch the water on the recovery. So keep the boat balanced for that reason.